Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install the new Elgato Game Capture Card HD60. First, let's take the HD60 out of its case. So you notice it's got a little sleeve that you can slide off. And when you open it up, you'll see the HD60 right here. So if you didn't know, the HD60 is called this because it can stream live feed at 60 frames per second. And when we take it out, you can see that's rounder, a little bit smaller. It's got a cool look to it, I think. You get your HDMI out. Over here on the other side, you get your HDMI in. This is a cable that will connect your computer to transfer the information. And then this is, if you can see it, this is your aux cord. You can, if you have an aux cable, you can connect it into the back of your TV for sound. So alongside with the capture card, the two other things that will come with this when you purchase it is your HDMI cable, which will go to your TV, and also your transfer cable. This is a USB plug-in to your uh, laptop, and then also this will plug into the back of the capture card. You're going to want to note that when you buy the HD60, that does not come with an aux cable. So I would suggest getting that if you want to get sound when you're playing your game to transfer it onto the computer. All you need is just a 3.5 millimeter jack. And I also got one of these. It uh, makes surround sound. It has a left and a right to plug into the back of the TV. Okay, here's everything you need to set up your capture card. You got the capture card itself, your HDMI cable that came with it when you purchase it, and also your transfer cable. Here's another HDMI cable, but that should have already been plugged into the back of your Xbox, so that is good. We can plug it in to your HDMI in. And also, if you're HDMI out, you take your other HDMI cable that came with it, and this will go into the back of your TV. So I plug it in. Spin this around so you can see it. And lastly, we'll plug in the transfer cable. Kind of has like a cell phone charger on the one side. And the other side is just simply a USB. So when we plug it all together, you'll see it takes one moment to load. And there you have it. So now you're streaming off your TV and your computer. Okay, now that you have hooked up, you can control it with your controller just like usual. You'll notice when I move around, there isn't any lag at all. But then on your computer, there will be about a second lag. It's hard to show on the video, but anyways, so that's all you need to know. And if you want to record, all you do is on the bottom left here, you have a capture button right here on the bottom left. You just click it. And right now it is capturing. So anything you do on your uh, Xbox or PlayStation, uh, it'll record this. And then when you're done, all you do is hit capture again, and it'll save it. And if you go up to your edit button, it should be right here, and you can save it to your computer or post it on YouTube or whatever. Just a side note, you will have to download some software from the Elgato store. It doesn't cost anything. I can leave you the uh, link in the description below. Other than that, that should be all you need to know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me something. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. Thanks, and have a great day.